It's time for the first segment of Cooking with Chef Bastard. Yo, good morning bastards and welcome back to my channel. Guys, today is Sunday, Monday for y'all, but Sunday for me. And you know what, I'm already done with the intro. Let's just get out there and let's go do something. It is hot out here, but thankfully Ian's gone. So we get the covered parking. So that's good. But right now, guys, I'm thinking I'm just gonna go do some grocery shopping at Walmart, you know, pick up some groceries, pick up some different stuff I need, maybe some stuff for the camera, like a new battery or something like that. I'm not sure yet. But we're just gonna have to find out. Take you guys with me. This is gonna be the first time actually having this camera out in public, recording and stuff, so it's gonna be interesting to see what kind of looks I get. But Let's flip and send it, bruh. So we just got done shopping, got some groceries, just just some different stuff. You guys want to see some of it tonight? All right, so like I said, guys, just got done shopping at Walmart. We're about to head back home to Grand Prairie. We're in Arlington, so it's just like a five-minute drive. So we're going to head back. What the hell's going on in here? Uh, we're... Uh... Okay. Why don't you run me through what you're, what you're cooking, Ian? Well, what we got here, we got some angel hair noodles. Um, she's gonna sweep that, put it in there for some extra flavor. Um, we got your beef, straight from the balls of a bull. And we got four slices of salmon bread. <laughs> salmon, salmon. And uh, we got a Walden Malone for our special guest. Turn the camera on yourself, please. Is that a black joke, Ian? No. It's a watermelon joke. And we're just kicking it, you know? I know. We're to cook itself. The watermelon? Or everything? Everything. Okay, don't. And Tristan might just burn down the apartment. I mean, we got the insurance, so we're good on that. It looks dope. Ladies and gentlemen, get you a man that can cook. I say gentlemen because it's 2017 and we can't just be like, you know. Ian, I put you in that video last time when you were trying to do the tornado, but screwed up. You want to try it again? Well, we're going to turn the hair off first. We're getting serious. He's getting serious. Turn off the air. The drafts and we're gonna slow down. Number two. It's burning. My clothes on. What's up, everyone? Now that they're done with the kitchen, it's time for the first segment of Cooking with Chef Bastard. That's right. I'm Chef Bastard, and today we're going to be cooking a little dish. Nothing, nothing special. We're going to be cooking the best cheapest mac and cheese that you can make that's not Kraft mac and cheese or the little Spongebob ones, you know what I mean? So for this, all you're gonna need, you're gonna need some noodles of your choice. I prefer the spiral ones. Some chicken broth. Some sort of Alfredo sauce. I'm just using the regular Alfredo, no added flavor. Some heavy whipping cream. Some cheese, of course. I'm using this Mexican style shredded cheese. And I'm going to be adding bacon to mine. Smoky maple bacon. So yeah, the first thing you're going to want to do is get your water started to boil your pasta. I already got the water on. We got this nice little pot here. And I'm also going to be starting the bacon in this sheet pan right here. So I'm going to go ahead and lay that out. Now it's worth saying you can either when you're cooking your bacon, you can either do it in a frying pan or you can throw it in the oven like I'm going to do. Um, I'm choosing to put it in the oven just because um, I don't have to pay attention to it while I'm doing everything else. So just go ahead and throw this in your oven. I'm cooking it at 450 and just keep a good eye on it. If you're not good at like remembering, set a timer, you know. So 
we got the bacon in the oven. The water's just about to come up to a boil. And I also didn't mention this, but you're gonna wanna season your water, put some salt in your water so the noodles aren't bland when they come out. Once your water comes up to a boil, you can go ahead and add your noodles. Once you get your noodles in, it's important to stir occasionally. You don't want them sticking all together. So just get yourself a nice spoon and stir it every once in a while. So we're going to let those noodles sit in there for a good 5-6 minutes until they got a nice firm bite to them. But while we're waiting for the noodles, we'll get our strainer set up in the sink. Just like that, you know, just nothing much. I don't know why I had to show that, but still, it's part of the routine, so we're going to do that. Now, if you weren't going to make this right away, I don't know if you can see it, but you see how there's like a little white ring in the middle? You'd want to stop there. And this is pretty firm, and it just helps it to not overcook your pasta. But since we're cooking it right now and we're going to eat it tonight, you're going to want to keep going until it's a little softer. Bacon is looking nice and crispy. Noodles, I just turned them off. We're about to drain them right now. So now that the noodles are out, we can start making our sauce and everything. Now, so we're going to use this pan right here. And we're going to use this chicken broth, this alfredo, and some heavy whipping cream. Now this heavy whipping cream is going to give it some richness and it's going to give it a really good flavor as well as the chicken broth. Now I just bought this chicken broth from the store but if you want to you can make it yourself. It's just literally chicken bones and vegetables but like I said this is a quick easy and cheap mac and cheese that's better than craft so we're going to just use that and it's still going to be really good. It's going to add, it's going to give it a real good flavor and also if it gets a little too thick you can just add a little more of this and we'll loosen it up. So you can start with some chicken broth. Just give it like a good three ounces or so. Three, two, three ounces of chicken broth. Start that in there. Now you got your Alfredo sauce. That's just going to make it nice and creamy. Another two to three ounces of Alfredo sauce in there. And then you got your heavy whipping cream. And you're also going to do another two to three ounces of heavy whipping cream. And remember, you always want to start off light because you can always add more to it later. So we're going to let that, we got to turn, on, turn it on first. We're going to let this come up to a boil. And then we'll add our noodles into it. Actually, we can technically add our noodles into it now. So once you have that, you can add your noodles to it. That's a lot of noodles. I didn't know it was going to be that much, so we're going to go ahead and add a little bit more of everything. So we got the sauce working now, it's coming up, so we're going to come up to a boil. Uh, oh god, uh, on the set. And also at this stage you can add in some more saw, salt to the actual sauce. So once this comes up to a good boil, you can go ahead and add your cheese. And like I said, I'm just using this Mexican style cheddar cheese. Shred it up. Just go ahead and add some cheese. So now we got the cheese added in there and you can tell it's nice and creamy. And it's actually, I like my mac and cheese a little thick. I don't like it really runny. 
So for me, this is actually good. But like I said, if you want it looser, like say if you were going to take this over to a friend's house or something, while you're traveling, it's going to naturally thicken up because it's just heating up. And it's all going to thicken up. So if you're traveling, I would add a little bit more chicken broth to make it looser. So by the time you get there, it'll look nice and creamy like this. Now you can either mix your bacon in with the mac and cheese in the pot, or you can use it as a topping, like I'm going to do. So I'm just going to give this bacon a little chop, and we're going to sprinkle it on top of our mac and cheese once it's on the bowl. Just so you can clearly see that the bacon's in there, you know? I'm also going to be adding chives to mine, just to give it a nice little look on the top. So you can just give these a little chop as well. You don't need much. Like I said, if you're doing a lot, then you chop all this up. But really, you just want a little chop, and you can sprinkle it on top of your mac and cheese. And just like that, we got a nice mac and cheese right here with bacon and topped with chives, and it literally only took about 10 minutes. The longest thing, I think the longest part was boiling the noodles. And so yeah, you guys saw it there. And look, that's just, that's just my plate for dinner. But if you guys, like me, if you have leftovers like this, you're gonna keep it in the refrigerator. If you want some the next day, just put it back in a pan like that. Put a little bit more heavy cream and a little chicken stock and add a little bit more cheese and it'll be just like this again. This has been Cooking with Chef Bastard. If you guys want more of this, if you guys want to see more different cooking stuff, different quick meals like this, let me know in the comments below and I'll make sure to do that. Or if y'all have a request of something you want to see me cook, just let me know with that also. But yeah, everyone, that's gonna go ahead and do it for the vlog. I'm about to demolish this mac and cheese. If you guys enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Join the bastards, we're lit. We out here cooking, we out here doing different stuff. So subscribe. Join the family. Guys, don't forget about the 100 subscriber giveaway. $25 Visa gift card given away to one of you once I reach 100 subscribers. <laughs> and that's going to do it tonight. I'll see you bastards tomorrow. Pause. All right, so I realized about a second later after I ended that clip that I didn't actually show myself taking a bite of the mac and cheese. So you guys could have been like, well, it was disgusting. He didn't eat it or whatever. So just for... Just for clarification, I'm going to take a bite and I'm going to show you guys that it's good and that I can cook, okay? Mmm. Mmm. Confirmed delicious. Alright, see you bastards tomorrow. Yeah. Case. <laughs> that case. <laughs> Shit, this fucking crack is going to dance my chair.